Hey y'all, while the baby is sleeping and I'm about to go down with her, um, I wanted to make this video. Today is Tuesday on Sunday while I was having a nap. Um, I had a dream very short of a hurricane that was down in the islands. Uh, it looked more like near the Bahamas. Um, not so much near the Caribbeans like um, Karen is right now. Um, I can't say for sure, but like I said, it was down in the islands and it seemed to be like an Atlantic basin. So it, it would appear that it's it, in the dream that it was more like by the, uh, uh, what is that, the Bahamas. Um, I don't want to say that for sure. All I know is in the in the islands, and in the dream, it was just hanging out there. And then I seen on the news, it was a woman meteorologist, and she made the announcement that the storm um, was going to hit directly, like South Carolina, and. <clears throat> It seemed to be like that line that I placed, it seemed to be like a direct hit. It's like, she's like, we're going to have a direct hit or it's coming straight here. So, I don't know if it just means like the southeast coast or directly South Carolina, but it, it was a storm that so it's just like in the next two or three days it, it appears that this thing is going to hit us directly something to that effect okay and it seemed as if the storm um it was like it didn't have a direct path kind of like karen has right now it's kind of all over the place as far as forecasts i can't say that it's karen um and I want to say 90% a South Carolina uh, direct hit. Um, the despair and the surprise in her voice reminded me of on Friday, they had a 30 year Hugo anniversary. And I watched bits and pieces of it because I wasn't, it came on at eight o'clock. I wasn't able to like fully watch it. Um, Hugo hit when I was nine years old and I don't know exactly where Hugo came from. Maybe I should look that up um, because I wasn't able to see that. And back then they didn't have, you know, the graphics. Surely they had the technology, but they didn't have the real live, uh, you know, good graphics. I just remember seeing part of it when on the news, uh, on the anniversary show thing, how it was sitting up against our coast and how Charlie Hall, he's now de deceased, um, just seemed really uh, surprised and really saddened that this thing was going to hit us. And at that time, they had to go off of air. And at that time, also, uh, at the end of the broadcast, when they were saying, hey, we're going to go off air because this thing's about to hit us, he had a bunch of papers in his hand. So I'm not sure... Um, if this was a live type radar type thing, or they, you know, they might've been an hour or two behind pitting up the graphics, kind of making it like a cartoon. I don't know. Some type of animation. I'm not sure how that worked back then. Um, I do remember watching that part. Um, so just want to make this video because no one knows where Karen is going. I think we have two other named storms out. Um, it's a warning. Um, we prayed here in South Carolina. Um, they did uh, prayer before the news conferences. <sighs> I don't know if the magnitude of the storm is going to be like Hugo since the, the meteorologist in the dream, her, her, her emotions were the same as Charlie Hall's when he actually announced that Hugo was going to hit. Hopefully not. Um, but that's the only thing that can help us right now is prayer. And I think it's a warning. Um, I direct hit 
You guys, I live literally one mile from the water. There's, and maybe a quarter of a mile from the closest uh, river here. But the ocean, I live a mile from the ocean. So I wanted to put that out, um, not just for South Carolina. Um, a storm of that magnitude would definitely affect Georgia and North Carolina. But it seemed as if this thing was going to be a direct hit to South Carolina. All right, you guys, I'm doing well. I had a doctor's appointment today. Um, my eyes 90% better. I can see. Uh, it just sleep deprived, okay? Um, and baby's doing good, too. She's taking a nap. She's sleeping well throughout the night, but she's very alert and very, she just likes to get up and sit up and not lay down. I guess she laid down too much in NICU. So she likes to be up and moving and bouncing and uh flipping and <laughs> um so i think that's it i am going to finish i have my um uh dream up, up that i put out on january haven't finished watching it but a sister reminded me something about the elections i'm not sure what's going on here in the last two days as far as the elections with uh benjamin netanyahu but i did put a dream out that my jewish friend uh, was saying that they're trying to get Benjamin out. And we know that they already had elections sometimes back in April. And I think their other their other election um, was a couple of days ago, if not Friday, I'm not sure. So I wanted to see what that was. It took her piece away that they were trying to get Benjamin Netanyahu out. And that was kind of apparent in the first elections back in April. I don't even know what the results are, um, to be honest. So today's the first day. She's been home six days. I've had five appointments. So hopefully I'll be able to catch up on YouTube and see what's going on since I don't have any appointments for a couple of weeks. Okay, you guys? God bless y'all. A warning of this, this, this uh, hurricane. Okay? God bless y'all.